Achieving a vocational qualification shows that someone is an accomplished professional who can be trusted to do a job well and can improve that person's job prospects. The Qualified Franchise Professional is awarded by the BFA and demonstrates an individual's high level of expertise in franchising. Robin Ross reports. Bill struggles to get out and about, but he's helped by a franchise that provides private care for elderly people in their own home. And um, how's the family? Mark is managing director of Right at Home in South Liverpool. Before taking on the franchise, Mark completed a free online training course from the British Franchise Association. I found an online the prospect franchisee certificate, which is all online. It really, really checks your understanding. It gives you confidence to ask the right questions of the franchise that you're looking at. The BFA's Franchise Training Academy helps to educate and develop the skills of people in what is a flourishing industry. Franchising contributes over £17 billion to the UK economy. 710,000 people are employed in franchising and 93% of franchises claim they made a profit in 2018. Education is so important in franchising, making sure that people are aware of the implications of investing in a franchise. The real importance of franchising uh, training for the British Franchise Association is making sure that it's very much based around our standards. If you're part of a franchise, you never stop learning and education is seen as being key. Ken Deary is the CEO of Right at Home UK. He's picked up many awards along the way, but Ken is keen to continue learning. He's gained the BFA's Qualified Franchise Professional Certificate, a nationally recognised qualification. When you get involved in the QFP, it's a series of um, learning seminars, uh, events you attend. It really brings you a much broader spectrum. So you're learning off other people, you're learning best practice in the industry, and it really does make you much more rounded franchise professional. To earn a QFP, Ken had to gain 3,000 points by attending professional events, completing modules from motivation to recruitment, and finally having a BFA interview to explain how he would apply this new knowledge to the franchise. It took him three years to qualify. I think people can really hold their heads up high that they are truly a specialist within franchising. I think it gives employers confidence that they're employing someone who is a, a specialist within franchising. But it also gives franchisees confidence that they're being led by people who really know what they're talking about and understand ethical franchising thoroughly. Ken mentors others and chairs the BFA's Compliance Committee. It's just confidence knowing that if it's their BFA approved, that they've been vetted by them. You know, that was one, one of the reasons we came with Right at Home. PIP has a QFP. We felt that if it was something we were asking franchisors to do, we should have done it ourselves. It really gave me a broader overview of some of the challenges that franchisors face internally. The long-term success of a franchise depends largely on the quality of franchisees, so they need to be trained to take on the many challenges. So as part of the Franchise Training Academy, we work really hard to start uh, developing um, specific workshops, we make a difference to their businesses, so focusing around marketing, uh, health and safety, HR, those kind of elements. We also have a finance course online uh, for franchisees. So really we're committed to making sure that actually they can move forward. Mark wanted a franchise that had ethics and was caring. Doing his homework beforehand helped him to find the perfect match. 